The final thing to consider is something called the common knowledge of rationality. Um, so this common knowledge of rationality is simply the idea that we assume in game theory, or at least in this course, that the players are rational, and that all players know that all players are rational, and that all players know that all players know that all players are rational, etc., etc. So you have this cyclic kind of relationship. What we can do when we have that is we can eliminate um, weakly and or dominated uh, strategies and a kind of predict rational behavior in a game. And this process is called rationalization. So in, in a very simple example where we have uh, this game here, 10, 5, 1, 10, 5, 4, and b equals 1, 1, minus 2, and 1, 0, 2, we uh, can immediately see by looking at the role player that those things are equal, but this thing is strictly equal. So we know that the second uh, strategy weakly dominates the first um, for the, the role player. So we can kind of just remove that. We know that the role player will never uh, have a reason to play the first row. So the column player also knows that that's never going to happen. And then when we look at the, the strategies we've got left for the, the column player, we have one, zero, or two, uh, being the utilities that correspond to the three strategies, and we see that the third column dominates it. And so the uh, predicted rational behavior um, would be this strategy profile, R2, C3. C3 is this, and R2 is that. And that's the notion of common knowledge of rationality and rationalization, which allows you to remove weakly dominated strategies in such a way as to obtain a predicted behavior.